Doug Harrington, and I got in the Rottweiler business probably about 35 years ago. Uh, my wife uh, was uh, home alone, traveled a lot. We wanted a dog that could be with her and the family, and but yet we wanted something that would be good with the kids, uh, something that would be uh, uh, bonding to the family and a great family dog. and. Uh, go on and uh, be part of the family. So basically that's why we got into it. Ben, this is 35 years later. Uh, my passion has always been animals, especially Rottweilers. Wanted to be a veterinarian, didn't quite study hard enough, so my daughter had to go take that by the lead, and she's a veterinarian and um, loves the breed and very passionate about it as I am. Uh, we both trained uh, a lot of dogs together. Uh, I've trained several Schutz and three dogs, been to Germany, uh, put several Corons, breed suitability tests on dogs. Uh, just love the breed and love the loyalty. That You can't ask for a, a more loyal dog, extremely loyal, and will give everything they As far as the the bloodlines of our dogs, we've kind of stayed with the the Genix bloodline. Uh, Eckhart Salquist started this line several years ago, and was very impressed with several factors: uh, temperament, 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 uh, which is uh, the essence of the breed now. Uh, is the essence of probably any any dog breed, but. They are known for that. They are known for their tree trunk bones, large bones. Uh, they are known for their very large head, like Dora has right now. Uh, and uh, the rich mahogany marking. So we've stayed with that line, and we've stayed with another uh, point that uh, the sons and the sons continue to produce the traits that we want in our dogs. And uh, basically, that's the line. Dora is a Genix bred dog. Uh, De Niro is uh, one of our males, and so is Mark. Uh, and uh, we are very, you can't, uh, in our opinion, uh, get a better line to deal with if that's what you're looking for, either in the working lines, uh, if you're doing confirmation, or if you just want a great family dog. In choosing a breeder, I think this probably is the biggest word we're going to deal with, and that is trust. You're going to trust that uh, I'm going to give you a dog that is very well socialized as far as the puppy, uh, vaccinations are in order, uh, the proper vaccines, uh, deworming, uh, and the fact that the puppies get temperament tested. Uh, whether you're going to use them just for a household dog or maybe you want to get in doing some protection work. But uh, uh, those are some of the factors. Uh, but I think uh, another big factor also, uh, and I have a major nutrition, is that we uh, emphasize nutrition as far as the quality of feed uh, affects their joints, it affects their hips, uh, and that uh, you keep them on a, a quality program as far as that. And then continue after they leave us. Uh, we're just as concerned about who they're going to as who you are buying from us. We want them to go to good homes, the people take care of their dogs, and uh, they love them a lot. Uh, as I say, uh, uh, love is important and so is a dog, so that's what we believe in. Yeah, these are probably the hot, hot points that people look for when they're buying a puppy. Uh, I would say the number one, and by far the number one, is temperament. 
we do some temperament tests on puppies. Uh, we do uh, we put them in submissive positions, see how they react. Uh, if you have young children, uh, especially toddlers, we tend to recommend a female uh, over a male just due to the fact, obviously, that females are maternal. Uh, also, uh, if you have uh, children, we do tests as far as pulling on their ears, pulling on their sides or feet, just see how they react to a young child crabbing a puppy because you know how that goes. So uh, I will thoroughly uh, check their dog over. Then if we get into uh, some people that want uh, to do uh, some tracking, uh, some protection work, uh, we can reevaluate those. They're normally a dog that has a little more uh, what I call prey drive. Uh, so those are the other things. I guess and then the next thing would probably would be nutrition. Uh, very important to us. Uh, the quality of protein, the fat levels are finding out these high fat, high protein dog foods are not good for their joints. So we tend to I encourage uh, adult dog food on puppies at probably a pretty young age, as quick as four to six months. Uh, I would say then probably the next thing is socialization, home environment, how do you take care of your dogs, are they part of your family, uh, where do they exist, uh, and how do you take care of them. So, um, and last but not least, I would probably say that uh, uh, how long have uh, possibly have you been in the business? Uh, I've, I've done this a long time. I've trained a lot of dogs. I've won several national titles. And at one time, uh, I was ranked the one number one dog kennel in the world at one time. So very proud of the dogs we have. We've been blessed with uh, a lot of great dogs uh, and have been uh, fortunate to love the breed uh, more than anybody.